three damn years, and I finally get you on Verizon. Lucha Underground. Uh, hey everybody, it's uh, Retrocator of Retrocator Reviews about to do some AGKW news with this week's pe previous uh, Lucha Underground and uh, Backlash predictions and... What the hell? <laughs> yeah, predictions. And I'm gonna win. AJ Styles, I'm gonna win! Oh, and uh, review me first. I'm not ready! I'm not ready! I'll, we'll get to that in a minute. And yeah, I'm Dean Ambrose. I'm not good with these... Uh, Openings or whatever the hell he calls it. Just start the damn review. <laughs> Just hurry up, dude. Seriously, I got like a match to go this Sunday. Uh, dude, kind of looks like you ripped yourself out of the package. Uh, I'm a wrestler. It's kind of my thing, so I'll let you start off with the package. How very nice of you. Just hurry up, seriously. Uh, that do that you thing. You lose it a mute. It spells aside, uh, let's get to the package itself, and I really want to... Well, I guess since we're talking about the package, my thoughts on Backlash, yeah, I really want Dean to retain, but since it's an AJ Styles match, uh, actually, I could take it or leave it. Seriously, I'll get to you in a minute. We're resting the music. With that aside, uh, from the looks of Dean's obvious hardcore attitude getting out of the packaging, uh, it's a very standard card and, uh, went basic window, so it's not that big a deal. Uh, back of the box obviously shows uh, who else you want to get in this figure line. Uh, it's from the Mattel, so I'm assuming this is like a basic kids line. Girls line! Wow, that guy is tougher than I thought. Anyway, uh, crappy <laughs> in story spells aside, it also has some NXT guys who are no longer in NXT as of this recording. Um, uh, basically, Sami Zayn, Finn Balor, Neville. Yeah, I'm aware that Finn Balor got his arm injury getting the Universal Championship. Which, oh yeah, I don't like the colors, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like what they might also be doing to the World Heavyweight Championship after Backlash. I'm making rumors, I'm pretty sure it's not going to go blue, but who knows, Natalia and uh, no Renee Young, because they did a figure on her, and oh my god, if you've seen 2 k 16 her, it's even worse on figure her. Okay, okay, Dean, chill. So yeah, that's it for the packaging. Let's get to the main event itself. Dean himself. Uh, it's another one of those birthday gifts I got, so more to come. There is one more figure I can't believe I got, and I'm going to use it for the uh, Gokaiju review, so we'll get to that next time. Until then, um, this is actually my first time getting this open, so from the looks of it, his got a ab swivel from the looks of it. Uh, head articulation is just a swivel sorry for a messy messy uh studio or i guess desk in this pit in this case uh pretty messy because i guess d must have messed it around getting out of the box i don't know i just got home so i don't know what's going on uh really decent ball joint which goes 360 which actually isn't that bad for uh yeah actually for leg drops and rope breaks and all that kind of stuff and Obviously, I'm trying to remember the move. They do it all the time. Uh, roll ups? No. Come on. My crappy memory aside, they. Oh, yeah, clotheslines. Duh. Yeah, that's going to be great for clotheslines. Uh, for a basic uh, figure, it looks like it's doing pretty good. Uh, single jointed knee, and surprisingly, a swivel and a bend at the foot. Uh, no angle pivot. Uh, let's see what we got here in the fist. And we got a folding, we got two, there's a one point bend for Dean to flex. Also, he's casted kind of in a show-offy pose, which I don't really mind. It's Dean, he could pull off being disgusting because it's Dean freaking Ambrose. So, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's Dean fucking Ambrose. Uh, one holding hand, I guess, for kendos or chairs or whatever, which probably is his go-to hand um, nine times out of ten if you see a match on. Uh, SmackDown nowadays, if I assume. Don't know if it's an injury-related thing, but whatever. Uh, casting, uh, the molding it signed, uh, side, it's definitely an Ambrose. This is one of his early shirts, I guess. One or two years out of NXT, so that's not bad, to be honest with you. I actually like this shirt, to be honest with you. Uh, still got the Anarchy symbol, I guess his Dean symbol. Uh, they put it in the front for, like, a red symbol. I do have that shirt, if you're currently seeing it on Raw, so... <coughs> Are we done? So can you get your damn figure? Oh, you mean my armor? Whatever! Jesus, man! Whoa, 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 whoa! Are we, are we filming? Are we filming a movie? Because I was like really good in nine rounds. That was twelve rounds. What? Whatever, man! I don't, I don't count. All right. So your predictions go. I'll hang back. 
Dude, are you like a fan of my shit? Uh, no. I'm not worthy. I'm not. Worthy. Just hurry up. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, predictions for backlash. Um, uh, for the tags, uh, for the tag team match, I really want American Alpha to win because it looks like Usos might have went heel. That'd be kind of cool. And let's just get to my th quick thoughts on Lucha Underground. Oh my God, Puma went full dark. Uh, not really dark. He's trying to be. Uh, he's gonna be over by the fans and probably get uh some sort of feud going on with Pentagon of the Dark. That uh, Vampiro's probably gonna be like a secret uh, manager to the whole thing. And I don't know what's going on with the storyline. If uh, I need to be uh, swearing here. Uh, sorry, YouTube. Uh, basically, be uh. Pentagon's bitch, because Vampire, uh, if those who don't know, he's a really hardcore guy. I haven't researched all of his matches, but it turns out the man could take a friggin' licking. Uh, link to, I guess, one of the only match I've seen him in Lucha, which was leading into what was going on in Season 1, and surprisingly my first match ever to watch this, uh, the promotion, and definitely worth it. Uh, it was a lot of fire, there was a lot of spikes, it was a lot of violence, and it was fucking amazing. Good. Now, what the hell's this fucking YouTube shit? I mean, I'm off from fucking raw, and I don't have to fucking bitch and moan to what's going on in my life. Uh, is that Stone Cold interview? Don't mention the Stone Cold interview! I don't want to mention my personal life, okay? It's just, I just want to chill, okay? I just want to chill out. I just want to be mellow. What the fuck is me? I think you're getting demonic. You don't know if I do a spell check? Uh, no! You're not doing that evil dead shit. Yeah. I know what you watch. Ash vs. Evil Dead, and I definitely got that, and I'm totally getting a certain John Constantine involved in a review if I get him. Don't you put it on it! Yeah, I am, John! You're totally gonna review it! Okay, maybe, because he's a chain of little dumb American. Alright, 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 alright. So, any follow ups to anything real culture related? Oh, uh, Barn Kirby, why the hell do you have certain. You know, King Ross as is uh, obsessed of him. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, I am extremely surprised that Eric Bischoff was there for one of their pay uh, pay-per-views. Like, it was stacked. That was awesome. Blombier getting screwed over by Eric Bischoff because... Yeah, it's Bischoff. Who the hell are we getting here? Jinx. Did we just become Bischoff runs? Ah! Seriously? That's almost expensive. Like, I care. Final thoughts, go. Okay, final thoughts... When it comes to backlash, I think you got a good shot. Cool, I'm out of here. Wait, seriously, dude, I'm a traveling show. I gotta get the hell out of here. Where am I out of here? Where are you? Where are you at? There goes the best fucking wrestler I've ever met. Kinda, in a toy form. Whatever. The point is, back in action. Ugh. As far as uh, Raw and SmackDown goes, these last couple of weeks, it's actually pretty interesting. You know, because it's certain, you know, Kevin freaking always because the Universal Champion. Oh, fuck you, Vince. Yeah, I was aware of the news. I know what's going on there. Oh, it, oh, it was so good. It was so freaking good. My thoughts on him retaining it in Night of Champions? Uh, yeah, I would really love him and Seth Rollins to go against each other. They were both from ROH. It'd be a five-star match on paper, and yeah, it'd be freaking great. It'd be like Sane and him all over again, except to a up team, not really up team's degree, like a, a, a bigger degree essentially. Uh, don't know what kind of stipulation they're going to do with it, and it's it basically Kevin Owens and uh, Seth Rollins basically pissing off the GMs to do whatever the hell they want. True in the face versus heel kind of way, and I'm pretty sure, and I really, 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 really want to double turn and Seth to be face somehow out of all this, but who knows until then. So yeah, that's my predictions on Backlash and Night of Champions when that comes out. And yeah, uh, with this bite... What well, little I've said about Lucha Underground, I really enjoyed this week's Lucha Underground. A lot of mid-card matches, they're just reestablishing stuff for the first, for the Season 3. Uh, believe me, there will be more interesting matches aside from the Pentagon of the Start, that they... Dark stuff, they had to reestablish what happened last season. Again, all good so far, and the fact they almost nearly, um... Pro Gray's arm for a storyline sounds pretty interesting. Um, other than that, um... Good wrestling, good things are happening, and I went to Field of Honor, and it was freaking great. Um, hopefully, for the channel, I might see uh, Final Battle uh, 2016 if it comes to Hammerstein here in New York. Uh, that's what I was told at Field of Honor. If not, I'll update you if anything happens. So until then, I'm JDX, former AJKW wrestler in RetroCade RetroCade Reviews Armor, saying I will win. Whatever the hell D wants. And if he wants to be in charge of news, I'm all for it. Later. Seriously.
Now, let's see what you got, Backlash. Hello there, this is Adam Blombier, and oh my god, he didn't even have time to research our predictions. Card to it, by the way. And since he doesn't have his armor, I might as well take it back to Great Britain for me. Like hell you are! Oh! A <laughs> John Constantine cosplayer. No, I am the real deal, mate. Reverse this book. Subscribe to the boys' channel. Oh! Are you levitating me? Um, uh, yeah, do you not, like, do that here? Uh, <laughs> Dear God, help me, please! Please! Let my protection swing! Yeah. And if you excuse me, I got a dead to find. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus, I can't help him! King of Austin, get us out of here! King! Matakami, get us out of here! What the hell is going on? Rase, 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 what are you doing, man? Get out! Now! This is what you get for text messing with a boy's house who's now 25, which makes this weird. Oh. Oh, bloody hell, you're still here. Fucking go. D oh, do you have any smokes? Seriously, do you have any smokes? Subscribe to the kids' channel. Oh, thank God you. Oh, cheers, mate. You got, sm you got smokes. You know, I'm just saying, subscribe to the channel and, you know, oh, you're still recording. Oh, for God's sake. The do you want to see the damn thing? Cause it's, it's very dead and very demonic. Seriously, just go. What, I'm just a sick guy. Oh for God's sake, just subscribe already. What, come on, I got like 20 more minutes left before I have to go to, you know, backlash. Seriously. No, believe me, you don't want to see it, just, just go. Alright, fine. But I, you can't take this, AJ Styles. I'm gonna win, and I'm gonna retain. Do you wanna why? I'm Dean Ambrose. And as of right now, I'm in this guy's room. I'm part of the cast, like it or not. I'm gonna win again. So, you're, so this was new, no, yeah, and and he was here, yes. Okay, well, anyway, back in action, and what do you think of my opinions and reviews? And for real, this time, just go ahead and subscribe. I got, I got, I got we got business to handle. So, what do we got going on here? 